Hi, today's question is homologous genes in the same organism are called and here is five answers to choose from answer A parallax, answer B orthologs, answer C related, D duplications and E all of the above. If you're still confused which answer to choose, here's my explanation. Imagine that we have two uh, species that has a common ancestor and this can be for example tomatoes and uh, potatoes and here just let's take uh, individuals and both these individuals in each species would have um, genes in common so for example we can put here one gene that would be um, with the same functions in both species and uh, such situation we call orthologs so different species with uh, the same genes with the same functions of course this is not going to be 100% uh, identical genes because uh, as you see these two uh, species diverge from the common ancestor and of course each gene would accumulate its own mutations. But what most important is that uh, these genes, the same genes, would perform the same functions in different species. This is how we defined uh, genes, uh, homologous genes to be orthologs. And this is example of um, situation B, answer B. And now a uh, different uh, example. Uh, imagine that here we have uh, dogs. So this would be once again uh, here common ancestor and here would be two different species. On the left would be dogs and on the right would be humans. Both uh, dogs and humans have uh, one ancestor and for example both dogs and humans would have um, such uh, genes that produce proteins that we call myoglobin so this can be myoglobin and uh, hemoglobin and myoglobin uh, this uh, protein or gene um, arose uh, not due to speciation but due to duplication of the hemoglobin gene. So such situation when we have two genes, one which is uh, duplication of the another gene and due to accumulation of uh, different mutations it starts to perform different function. So uh, once again uh, here we have two genes one would be duplication of another and those these genes are homologous so have uh, many in common uh, on the sequence level they would perform different functions in the organism those those functions can be very uh, close related and similar like myoglobin protein and uh, hemoglobin protein and dogs also have uh, myoglobin protein and uh, hemoglobin protein what does it mean that uh, we have common ancestor and the common ancestor also had uh, this duplication of the myoglobin and uh, hemoglobin protein and genes that produce these proteins so we call such situation that uh, this is going to be paralogous so answer a and um, once again um, orthologs is uh, the same gene two homologous genes that perform the same functions in the different species and these are homologous and uh, at the same time orthologs to each other and uh, in the situation A, 
paralogous genes, we have uh, one gene that duplicated, and now these two genes would perform different functions within the organism. So this is uh, what the main difference is, and uh, maybe to make things a little bit more complicated, uh, let's compare this um, myoglobin gene of in the dogs and myoglobin genes in the humans. They are going to be homologs, and uh, both uh, myoglobin and uh, um, hemoglobin in uh, humans would be uh, homologs, so all of them would be homologs, but uh, myoglobin gene in uh, dogs and myoglobin gene in humans, we can say that this is going to be orthologs and uh, hemoglobin gene in dogs and hemoglobin gene in humans also going to be orthologs. Uh, between uh, each other, they are going to be paralogous, and um, if we compare myoglobin gene uh, with hemoglobin gene in humans, myoglobin gene in dogs, and we compare with uh, hemoglobin gene in humans, they are going to be neither paralogous or orthologs. We just call them uh, homologous genes but they are neither parallax or orthologs. And, of course, uh, all of them would be related. Answer D, uh, parallax uh, genes would be duplications or would arise due to duplication. And uh, all of them we can call homologous genes. Homologous genes is such genes that we can pair on the sequence levels and we can find a lot of similarity. So we call such genes homologous genes. And once again, uh, homologous genes in the same organism are called paralogs. So the answer A. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.